the S-Trap. All right, so let's start here with the S-Trap and, and why this thing is so not the part you want to use here. Okay, so this is what your S-Trap looks like. Now, you've probably never seen this before because these are really only in older houses. And so a normal P-Trap, you know, your, your exit out of the sink, the drain pipe would come down to here and it would go like this and then straight over into the wall. But in this case, what we're doing is we're coming out of the drain pipe, going back up into another backwards, back-to-back P-Trap. And then it's going down this way, vertically, into down to the floor. So the reason why this is a banned, in all 50 states ban this, by the way, it's in the Uniform Plumbing Code. It is a code violation. The reason why it is banned is because a lot of times if, if a nearby toilet flushes, or even when you stop, uh, when you turn off your water, and if the water continues going and it empties out too much of this, and there's not enough water left back in here, to maintain the trap seal. So remember, this is supposed to be your trap seal here. It's supposed to be covered in water inside this pipe here, from here up to about here. And this is called the trap seal. And that column of water right there is what's going to protect you from the methane gases that are gonna come up through your pipe and get into your house. So a lot of times in older houses, people always complained about the smell of methane gas, you know, the sewer gases in their house because they had an S-trap and it lost water. Sometimes if you have a powerful enough toilet nearby that flushes, it can suck some of the water. Just the, the flow of the, the um, it's almost like a capillary action type thing, but it, not quite. But basically the flow of that toilet flushing the water can suck with the air, can vacuum out some of that water too. So that's why these are banned in pretty much all 50 states. I don't know of a single state that allows these. I believe if you still have one installed, they'll allow you to, to continue with it. But if you were getting any kind of inspection, um, if you were doing any kind of remodeling, they would not allow you to continue to use this. So if you encounter one of these and you're doing a remodeling, I would say if you don't know how to do this yourself, try to bring in a plumber that can reroute the drain pipe inside your wall so that you can go to a standard out of the wall waste line so that you can just do a single regular P-trap. All right, so this is the part of the Florida Plumbing Codes here where it bans the S-traps. And remember, our Florida... All right, so now let's take a look at why this form and fit P-trap is not allowed. Let's follow it exactly. Some kind of might renumerate things. But I believe our chapters are the same chapters as the Uniform Plumbing Code. And here in uh, Chapter 10 here, where it covers traps, interceptors, and separators, if you look down here in section 1002.3, prohibited traps, and item number five there says S traps. So there it is, it's not even minced words or there's no way you can misconstrue it. Well, maybe they didn't mean S traps or maybe there's uh, conditions where you're allowed to have it. No, there aren't any. It specifically denies you to use S traps. And I'm willing to bet that every single city and every single state probably has that Pro prohibited trap there. Okay. And we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon next to it. That way you'll be alerted every time we upload a new video because believe me folks, you don't want to miss a single one of our videos on, on situations like this, tool reviews. We go into the stores, we find you the best deals that are currently going on. We give you home renovation tips, bathroom renovation tips, all sorts of engineering disaster information. And that's it for this time, folks. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.